hello guys once again welcome back to another android app development tutorial in this video here i am going to show you how to capture an image using inbuilt camera application on a device every device contains a default camera application if the camera is not the major part of your application you can use the inbuilt camera application on a device so here in this video i'm going to show you how to use an inbuilt camera app for capture an image so we can start with a new android studio project so here the project is created so first thing we have to specify the camera feature in android manifest.xml so you can use the xml attribute use feature users feature now specify the feature name here it is hardware.camera so here we have a camera and camera 2 camera is deprecated but we can still use that one i will show you camera 2 usage in another example so here specify recording to true this will restrict your application on devices which has a camera in google play store okay so now we can create the layout for the application First, I change the root element into a linear layout. Now, specify the orientation. Okay, here I add a button. Specify text on it. Take a picture. Now, specify an on-click method. I name it as take picture. Now align this one at the center. Now specify a margin at the top. <coughs> okay, now for display the image, create an image view with height and width into 250 dp. Now specify <coughs> an SRC for testing the image view. Okay, align the image view at the center. Now specify a margin at the top. Okay. Now specify an id for it i name it as image view so this is the layout now implement this method inside activity okay so first we have to initialize the button and image view so we can initialize the variable for image view <coughs> i name it as m image view now i'm going to create an integer variable this is for request <coughs> another application to capture an image I name it as uh, request image capture initialize with the one integer value okay now we can initialize the image view okay so we can start another application using an indent object so create an indent object so here our intention is to capture an image so you have to specify the action for the indent media store into action image capture so now we can <coughs> we have to check is there is any application capable of handle this indent otherwise your application crash so you have to check this condition in that case we can start activity so we have to use start activity for result method now second parameter is the integer request okay so in order to receive the result from the other application we have to override a method called on activity for a result on activity result so here we have the data available on this indent parameter called the data so we can retrieve the data for that uh, create some variables for bundle uh, data dot get extras now we can get the bitmap from the extras extras dot get specify key as data now typecast this one into bitmap okay now we can display the image on the image view so set image bitmap so now we have to add all these things inside some condition so if uh, request code is our request our request variable is image uh, request image capture and result code is okay result code is result okay in that condition we can handle the data okay so now we can test the project so run the project okay 
okay now the application available on this virtual device now try to take an image so this is the inbuilt camera application on this device so now capture image now click ok okay now the image available on this image view but this is not a good quality image this is a simple bitmap suitable for icons i hope you understand the concept thank you for watching